Hey y'all, welcome back to another video, another day in the life. Today is all about school, back to school. We have school registration, school supply shopping, school clothes shopping, all the school stuff. And you know I love summer, and I'm sad to see summer go. <laughs> not ready for back to school. I'm so not ready, but it's coming. I mean, it's been a wonderful, wonderful summer, wonderful break, and we, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like my heart is full and, you know, I have no regrets for this summer, but, you know, it's coming, it's coming regardless. Fall, uh, the holidays, all of that, it's all fun and exciting. It's just sad to me because I love summer, but here we go, another school year. Jackson's going into eighth grade, so that's hard to believe. <laughs> One more year till high school. But today we are gonna go out. I, actually this morning I have a doctor's appointment and um, every year I go and you know, get my blood work and then see my doctor and talk about everything. And so this is my just yearly appointment for that. And then I'm gonna come home and we have a few things we have to do like, he has to try on the pants that I picked up at Goodwill last week. I wanna make sure that they fit him. And then if they do still, we have to pick up a few more cause I wanna make sure he has enough. And then we have to do like this we have to watch this video. They give them iPads at school and we have to watch this video and you know, sign it and all that. We have to do all that. And then this afternoon around three o'clock, 3.30, we're gonna go over to his school, do some registration, meet all his teachers, get his schedule, get his locker, all that. And that always takes a couple hours. I used to do that with multiple kids and now with just him and it still takes a couple hours. <laughs> and then after that, I will, um, I remember doing that with Elena when she was in middle school and Jackson was a newborn. He was like two weeks old and I had to be at Madison school and then Jackson school and it was hours and hours and hours. That was hard. <laughs> it is a lot easier with just one. But um, then we're gonna go out and hopefully get like all his school supplies. It's kind of like right before school starts. So, but I waited because they always like wait and give you, oh yeah, we want you to get this notebook or this specific thing and then I always end up buying the wrong thing if I buy it before so this I decided this year I'm just gonna wait <laughs> and get them after I go you know talk to every teacher and say specifically what do you want so we'll do that we might like go out to dinner tonight I don't know Jackson hates shopping and so he is not gonna like it but hopefully hopefully he'll be okay since it's just you know stuff for him I don't know we already got his shoes the other day and get him some pants we'll order some more of his shirts from the school and all that anyway enough about that I gotta go to the doctor so I'll catch up with you all right just walked out of the doctor's office she is the nicest nicest I love her her kids go to school with Jackson so like we always talk about school stuff she just spends so much time it's so nice to have a doctor who's just like I don't know listens to you and really she really listens to me and really um yeah I, I just love her <laughs> I just love her so um she gave me everything I had my like blood panel I took got blood work last week and she went over everything and everything looks good you know I've been cutting out sugar my a1c has never been elevated but um it's definitely normal now but my fasting sugar would always be elevated and I was like creeping up every time I go in it was creeping up and now every time I come in it's going down so it's gone down even a few more points so that's good and she says that can be so finicky it can be something you ate the day before that like a banana that's still in your in your system so she never is too worried but it was within normal so that's the first time my my fasting sugar has been within normal limits and I don't know when so Definitely cutting out the refined or the added sugars has made a big difference for me. So they'll give you a little update since I talk about it all the time. Um, and then of course my A1C was perfect. Um, and then everything else looked good. So I'm excited. She gave me like a um, prescription cream for my uh, eczema. She's given me like steroids before, but I don't take them. <laughs> because and she says they'll elevate your blood sugar anyway so I shouldn't but yeah I'm gonna try a new prescription so I gotta have to go pick that up later I'm excited to see if that might maybe take my eczema away from my eyes that would be amazing so anyway it is raining hopefully this rain is gonna move out because we got a lot to do today I'm gonna head home make lunch do a few things around there and then we're gonna head to registration and then we've got lots of like running around to do so it's a busy day so i'm actually going to run into once upon a child over here real quick i thought i would check there before i go home just trying to find jackson pants to fit his long legs and shirts to fit his long arms he's getting so tall and so long but he's still so thin it's kind of difficult but he's going to be with me today later but i thought i would run in 
here real quick and see what they have. So later, I'm home now. Later when I uh, do like a haul of everything, I'll show you what I got from Once Upon a Child. But I just had Jackson try on like all the pants I got. One, I know baby, one did not fit, but the other three did. So we've got three. So I got, it's funny, I pick out like the longest pair I can find in like a 16 or an 18. And then I compare all the others to it. And if they're not that long, then I don't get them. And the longest pair that I found is the only ones they fit him like it has to be like they have to come up to about right here on me for me to know that they're going to fit him in length <laughs> which is so funny but anyway later i'll show you everything just making some bagels for jackson and i because we're both starving and oh oh i thought i said 2:45. i was like wow the day went fast it's 12:45, so um we're gonna have to watch this like video for school and i need to make a list i need to look at his school supply list actually we haven't even gone through your book bag from last year we need to go through your book oh, bag yeah <laughs> We just set it down on his floor. It is still there from August, uh, from May. But we need to see if he has like pins and pencils and things like that so we don't like overbuy, you know. But yeah, I need to do all that. And then I think tonight we're just going to go out and get Mexican food because we're going to be out for a while. So I think Mexican food it is. Also, I tried the foil on the banana trick. Today is what? Thursday? And I bought these Tuesday. So. Yeah, it didn't really work either. I know you can get like a hanging banana keeper. Maybe I'll get one of those sometime because bananas just do not last very long. They go with butter and strawberry jelly is my favorite. <laughs> All right, I went through his backpack. This backpack, it's a high Sierra, is in really good condition. He used it all last year. Oh, look, there's some glue. And it has held up so good. It's He's hard on his stuff too. But um, I went through, it's got so many pockets. I went through everything. This is not torn, it just needs to be zipped. Um, clearly missed the glue, hopefully. That's all I missed. Um, but this is all that he had that we could maybe use again. A few note cards, some graph paper, salvation plan bookmark. Admit that you're, you do wrong things, believe that Jesus died for your sins, commit to follow him. Love that. Also, a Bible highlighter. We had to buy this last year. A ruler and some paper. So, yeah, we're going to have to buy everything. <laughs> uh, also, this is really cool. One of his teachers, like her and her family, make these for kids to buy. We bought it last year, and then they get to reuse them every year. But it was like 25 bucks. Marion could totally build this, but it's um, a locker shelf. So you put, like, these in your locker and then you have two shelves because the way that they are they're tall but there's no everything just like gets stacked on top of each other so we'll take that up there and uh yeah his book bag is good his lunch box is good i made a list of school supplies it's actually not as bad as i thought he does need an 85 dollars calculator but my girls had one and i remember when we cleaned the basement we found theirs and and i remember them saying hold on to this jackson's gonna need it so I think I know kind of like where it's at, but we have his bed that we're gonna be putting in his room and it's blocking that whole side of the basement. So I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to go down there this weekend because I need to order it if, you know, it's, I don't wanna have to buy a new one if I don't have to, but if I do, I will. And I found one on Amazon and it's $85. So hopefully I don't have to do that. All right, we are at the school now. We're gonna go in. I might give you like a glimpse of his locker or something. I'm gonna go in, get a schedule. It is. 257 so let's see how long this takes it usually takes a while yeah you excited yep. oh good all right registration is done it is 351 it took us almost an hour he is gonna have such a good year he's taking three high school credits this year yep. so he's smart um he has amazing teachers i love his school i love his teachers so I didn't get any footage in there. Too many people, too crazy. But um, found his locker. It's an easy number to remember. Uh, but we're gonna go get a cold drink right now because it is so hot. Yeah. And then we're gonna go buy some school supplies and some school clothes and all those fun things. He's really excited about that. And this year they get iPads. So he's got his brand new, not brand new, but 
his iPad. They're gonna do a lot on those in eighth grade here. They get them from eighth to twelfth. They get their own iPads, so that's exciting. Just something else we gotta keep track of and not let get broken. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of. We got our cold drinks. What did you get? Strawberry watermelon slushy. It's his fave. From McDonald's, we're heading in Target. Hopefully we can find some pants to fit his long legs. Target is supposed to be red, but it's brown now. I don't like brown, I like red. <laughs> of course I had to stop at the dollar spot. Look at these little tiny pumpkins for one dollar. So cute. This one is too. And also these, I love these little furry ones. They're so cute. One dollar. All right. Exactly. There's a 16. Yeah, you want to pull that out? We'll look at those and see. And you can also, hold on, hold on. You can also wear gray. So grab a gray down here. Well, they have an 18. So we'll hold these up and see. Oh, they look short. All right, grab the 16 black. We'll hold them up and see. We'll unfold them. Those look huge. Yeah, but you need, these are 14 Cat and Jack. They have jeans here for eight and nine dollars. I'm shocked, I didn't know this. So uniform pants, 10 bucks. We'll try on those. He doesn't have any jeans that fit because he's so tall. So we're gonna try and find, oh, I love these Levi's. I love those. All right, we got a few in the kids, but we're gonna look in men's because I'm not sure if the kids are going to be long enough. Hmm. I don't even know what size he wears. These are slim? Oh yeah, we don't want those. We need regu regular. It's hard to find the links to fit. This is something I've, I don't know, Michael was always like a slim and very tall, so it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to find them. I think we need like a 28. See, that starts this at 30. Okay, I think 29 is too big. I think you're a waist 28. Jackson just showed me this in store. They only go from 30 online. You can order the 28. They have my favorite and it's on sale. They never have these. I love their pineapple upside down. Okay, I cannot tell you. Those are so good. We uh, had some success here with the pants mm -hmm. at Target. He definitely had something to fit. I got two pair of jeans, three pair of three pair of uniform pants. I'll show you when I get home. But we're gonna go to get Marion and then we're gonna eat because we're starving and it's five o'clock. And then we'll come back, we'll go back to Walmart to get supplies because we gotta take a dinner break. All right, we're getting Mexican and I actually changed it up today. I got chimichangas. <laughs> are they? Yeah, chimichangas. These are actually my favorite. Aaron got Talavera and Jackson got his rice and chicken. Oh yeah, that's his fave. Walmart, it has everything we need. They are coming through for me. They are fully stocked. It's funny, when my girls were younger, school supplies, they were all about school supply shopping. And they had to pick specific ones, you know, it had to be, had to have the kittens on it or whatever. Jackson's like, yeah, I don't care, let's get black. Graph paper, we need four by four graph paper. Can you grab another index card? I need a new binder from my household manual. I'm gonna change it up. Okay, we are home and we got everything done. It's like 7.45, but we knocked it all out in one day. Thankfully, Walmart came through for me. What I was saying at Walmart was that like when my girls were younger and they like looked forward to school supply shopping, that was like their favorite day of the year, like second to Christmas only. Uh, they had to pick out all the cute binders and the pencils and the notebooks and the lunchbox and all that and it was like a big deal for them. They had it planned out. Jackson could not care less about school supply shopping. <laughs> He's just like, I'm like, you need three of these one and a half inch binders. Do you care if I get the black? He's like, mm, I don't care. <laughs> so it's just not the same. They were just Jackson and Marion and I just tossing stuff, stuff in the basket. It did make it a lot quicker. But also with things so expensive, I just... If things were this expensive when I had four kids to buy for, like my, I, I feel so bad for 
you parents who have to buy like multiple kids school supplies because it is not cheap it is not cheap i know last year i spent 500 dollars between uniforms and supplies this year i don't think i spent as much i did go to his um oh, that's my phone his school registration and we got him two hoodies from school their, their hoodies are like $30 each, so we bought, had to buy up a size because, like I said, he's gotten bigger. So what we did find um, at Target, all this, the size 16 Cat and Jack, and they were on sale for, or no, they are only $10. So, and then they had a sale where if you spend 30, if you spend $40 in kids' clothes or shoes, you got $10 off. So I bought three of these. They won't fit him. Like by this time next year, I'm sure, I'm sure they will be too short. But right now, the size 16 in the Cat and Jack actually fits him perfectly. So we got navy blue. And then this color is not my favorite, but they didn't have the light. Can you hear my dogs? They're like racing around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is playtime. WrestleMania, that's what I call it. Um, so I didn't like this color, but it was the only khaki they had in the size 16. They didn't have a whole lot because... Those bigger sizes are hard to find. And then this gray. He can wear khaki, navy, and gray pants. And he doesn't like to wear shorts. He is allowed to wear shorts, but he just doesn't like to wear them. Then we got these Cat and Jack. Um, they're size 16. They're skinny. He doesn't like skinny, but these didn't really look skinny. And they were, these were $14. And they're just black jeans. You two are so loud. And they have kind of like a... It's hard to see, but like this kind of like... I don't know, ruching right there. Okay, I had to put the dogs out, that was too crazy. Anyway, he picked out the black jeans. We also just got these Cat and Jack straight. They were also $14, just a pair of jeans. It's crazy how huge these are, <laughs> crazy to me. Um, then I got in, he needed an undershirt, so we had to buy, these are the large 14, 16, just he wears these like under a hoodie. He can wear polos, they have like uniform polos. It has to have their logo on it though, so you can't just buy a polo. You have to buy their polos, and he doesn't like them. He likes to wear long sleeves even in August, so he wears one of these under a hoodie. He also has like some thin shirts. Boys clothes hauls are not as exciting as girls clothes hauls, I feel like, but you know. This is for teenage boy. This is, you know, just a clothes haul for a teenage boy. I, I had girls too, and the girls' clothes were so fun and cute to pick out. We would always pick out the little tights and the shoes to match, and, you know, they went in. Anyways, anyways, I love being a boy mom too. So this is a, this is from Target. I don't know. Art Class, I think, is the brand. This was $15. Just a sweatshirt. This is actually a crew neck. He usually wants hoodies, but he liked this. And it's a size 18. We also got underwear, which I won't show you. And then we got, they had, i show you, they had my favorite Laura bars. The pineapple upside down cake is my favorite. And I never can find them. I only, they only had the big box, but it was on sale for $10.50 for 12 bars. So this is such a great afternoon snack. Around three o'clock every day, I start to get really hungry and I need something that will last me till dinner. And this is the perfect thing to grab. And they are so good, like my mouth is watering. We also picked up his iPad from school. They get their iPads. Um, we forgot to get headphones. We do have to go get that. And then at Target, I got a couple little pumpkins, which I showed you. I got this little one. I'm going to, this, uh, this Halloween, no, this fall, I'm going to try and decorate with like orange and sage green and white. I don't know. I just love that combination and some yellow too, but I got a couple of these. They were only a dollar. This is like a, it's like a, I don't know, soft, fluffy one, like a terry cloth or something. And then this one's super soft, like velvety. This one was only a dollar too. And then another little orange one. I thought these three grouped together was so cute. Oh my gosh. I also got more Function of Beauty shampoo, which opened up in here. And this thing is totally closed. I don't know why that opened up. Wow, but I get this straight hair, Function of Beauty, this blue one. And then, ugh. I always like to add thermal protection and anti-frizz, but they didn't have anti-frizz. So this kind of shampoo, you add these into it and it, um, it gives you two actually, and you can add it to the, it's a booster shot, you can add it to the conditioner and the shampoo, but I already have conditioner, so. Anyway, I do love the function of beauty. All right, I'll let the dogs back in. Hopefully they'll behave themselves. 
I like to get these at Dollar Tree. They used to be a dollar, now they're dollar twenty-five. So they had these at Walmart for dollar twenty-four. So I just grabbed them there. They're the little uh, teriyaki beef jerky. They have regular also. Um, these are really great to just throw in Jackson's lunchbox or just when he needs something. You know, it's protein, so I feel like it's a good snack. And I also got some of these beef sticks. They're one hundred percent beef. Jack links and they're only a dollar eight, so they're cheaper than these. But I got some of those. Just um, I like to put something extra in his lunch because sometimes he's just still hungry after he eats it. And then I went to one for my child and I got a few clothes. I told you so. This was three fifty. It's Cat and Jack, size fourteen, sixteen. Nice, really nice shirt. I got this, which is it's a Russell Athletic, and it was four fifty, size fourteen. But the sleeves looked really long, so it's kind of a little bit on the thicker side. This will be nice for the winter, just a just a long sleeve shirt. I don't, you know, have to buy him as many clothes as another child because he wears uniforms so much. Um, this is a Wonder Nation, size 14, 16, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. It's got a hood on it, and it's just a kind of a lightweight long sleeve gray and yellow shirt and it's got the pocket here. The pockets are important. They like to put their phones in their pockets. So he's always got to have a pocket in his shirt or in his pants. And then I told you he loves hoodies. So I just grabbed this. This is a Hanes size small and it was $3.50. Just a green hoodie. He lives in hoodies. So I think that's it. And then I just bought a bunch of school supplies, which is boring. I'll show you real quick, but that was my it was a kind of a crazy long day of shopping, but Jackson did really good. He hung in there. And then, you know, just good old school supplies, Sharpies, pencils. He loves mechanical pencils, note cards, glue sticks, you know, all the stuff, all the binders. I did buy that pink, pink one for me because I want a new one. This one is a two inch, one and a half inch. What is it? One and a half inch. My other one's only a one inch, so this will be better to, um, I'm going to transfer my, I have like a household manual. I've shown it before in a video, but I am going to just transfer everything to this. I loved this color. So pretty. my comfy clothes I don't feel like unpacking any of that we're gonna do all that tomorrow we gotta like label everything and we have to like divide it up into what you know like put put it all together um, if you if you missed my last video we got a new couch I'm still trying to get used to it um, I love I love everything about it except the color I guess that's the one thing that's throwing me off but I don't know maybe it's because I have kind of orangey floors you know and, I, and like I said in my last video, if I get a rug that has like some like beige and gray in it, like a multicolor rug, hopefully y'all can see me. This, my lens cover keeps getting stuck. I don't think it affects the picture, but anyway, um, yeah, I just need to find a rug, I think. I think that will make me love it more. But for now, it's very cozy and very comfortable and will be really nice this you know, uh, fall and winter to have just a cozy couch. The other one was just so hard. Marion's enjoying them downstairs, though. He's loving them. I know. I know. I want to take it. I want to take it. I want to take it. <laughs> His little paws are wrapped around it. Oh, 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 oh. You ready? You ready? Go get it. In case you don't know, Belle has to go up because she has severe toy aggression. She can play with her ball by herself. She will attack and try to kill him if he's playing with a toy. And yeah. Um. There you go. Go get your ball. Um. So I said at the beginning, I showed you at the beginning of this video that I had a fun, super exciting announcement. Come here. So if you skipped to this part, I don't blame you, but if you didn't, thanks for hanging out with me today and waiting to see what I had to tell you guys. So before I tell you, I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna show you a little clip of a very real, raw, unedited 
video and then I will elaborate on it but um, this was just taken on I think Madison grabbed her phone and was recording and um, you know didn't didn't know what she was actually recording but it was so it's very unedited and real and shaky and I'm like talking about slugs and <laughs> anyways this was if you watched our cookout we had on Father's Day that's when this video was taken so I'm going to show you the video and then I'll elaborate In case you haven't guessed, we are going to have our first grandbaby, and we are so excited. I can't even tell you how excited we are. Marion is so excited, and I've never seen him like this before. Like, I've never seen him like this. It's so funny. And we are going to be called Nani and Poppy, so I'm going to become a Nani. He's going to become a Poppy. We just cannot wait to begin this journey of grandchildren. We definitely don't feel old enough, but we're so ready like I've been wanting grandchildren for a while and Michael is 28 so he'll have his first child when he is 29 so that's kind of crazy Marion when he was 19 was when he had Michael so it's a, it's a big difference so we've waited a while and they are so excited we do know the gender so I will be sharing that in an upcoming video probably in my next video I just want to keep that a secret for just a little while longer but I will be sharing that because I didn't do YouTube when I had babies so I thought for my grandbabies or my at least my first grandbaby I want to do a gender reveal video so, so be looking for that but I wanted to share it with you all because you all are like my friends and uh, you know it's super exciting so we did find out on Father's Day and have had to keep it a secret but we are now free to share so I'm sharing it with you all. Patrick just showed up and freaked me out. <laughs> he just freaked me out. Oh, Say sorry. hi. Say hey. hey. <laughs> Perfect timing but I'm gonna go for now. That was my porch is dark and I heard this bang and this I'm like who is that? Well, Anyways I'm thanks for hanging out with me and oh, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Make sure to give this a thumbs up. Patrick's here so it's loud now. <laughs> you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.